Hi and welcome to this DCPWare tutorial. Before we start today's tutorial, it will be awesome if you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Many thanks in advance. Don't forget to like, share and comment on this video. Make sure you watch the whole video until the end so you gain all the skills and knowledge. Ok, so in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create pie charts in LibreOffice 7 Calc. Ok, so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got this one blank document which is a LibreOffice Calc document. So we've got this blank document, we need to give some data inside this document in order to create a pie chart. I'm just going to write social media here and I'm just going to write popularity. So imagine we did some sort of poll, right? We asked people what do they think about social media platforms and which ones do they like the most. So let's just left click on the number one here and we'll press Control B to make those bold and then we'll type in some social media networks like YouTube, let's do, um, let's say, let's do Facebook, we'll do Instagram for example and we'll do finally TikTok, right? So these are some social media networks and we went out and we asked lots of people what did they think about these social media networks and let's just say for example um, 244 out of the people we asked said they like YouTube, let's say 474 like Facebook and maybe 321 liked Instagram and maybe 141 liked TikTok, right? So we want to get a grand total of how many people did we poll. We don't really need that number for the pie chart, but it's nice to have that information anyway. So we'll click down here on this blank cell. We'll go to the sum tool and click sum and then hit the enter key. Now we know that we polled a total of 1,180 people. And these are the social media platforms that they particularly liked, right? So I'm going to hold down on the left mouse button and select all of these cells. Just this block here, not the number below just this block of data. I'm going to go over to insert and I'm going to click on insert chart here, insert chart. Okay, so we have a chart here and we want to select pie chart here. So we're going to select pie chart and you'll see the pie chart appears in the background. You can do different styles. You can have it segmented. You can have like this donut shape. You can set it to like 3D look as well. You can have it on this 3D style. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as a default style, just like this and I'm going to click the finish button here. So we've got the pie chart in here. I'm just going to, um, let's just see, let's just left click outside so we can click on the chart and drag it up, right? So when, when you left click outside, you're deselecting the chart, you can click on it again and then you can actually move the chart. So we'll move it into this position and then I'm going to double left click on the chart, double left click and then I'm going to left click once on this actual chart here. And when you left click, you'll see these little dots, right? Let's just do it one more time. You see a little dots here. Uh, what we can do now is right click and then go to insert data labels here. And you'll see the numbers appear. So these numbers are now represented inside here, inside the chart. So you may just want it to be like that, but what if you want to put YouTube and Instagram, the actual labels here? We can right click again and we can go to, uh, let's see, we want to go to Format Data Labels here. And when we click on Format Data Labels, we can turn off the numbers and turn them back on again. And we can click Show Category here, Show Category. Um, and there's a few other options in here that you can go and experiment with, like placing borders around the text. You can change the font style. You can add font effects and all this good stuff, right? But for now, we want to keep it quite basic. Uh, so we're just going to select these options here that I've ticked off and we're going to click OK. And now we can see YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook with their numbers. You can see it's kind of placed a bit funny, like the, the numbers and the, the text. We may want to place them a bit more accurately. So you can click on them. If you double click, if you just, uh, let's see, if you click on it and hold down the left mouse button, you can actually place it exactly where you want to place it. So we can just click and then drag it into position to be a bit more presentable, let's say right to somewhere like here for example and now we can left click outside and it will accept all those changes and then if afterwards if you want to update your data in here let's just imagine we polled another 20 people for example and we could add more data in here as an example so let's say if we change this to 200 i'm going to put in some random numbers here but that should be another six right and the chart will automatically update and this number will stay static, let's say for example, and let's add another four to here. So let's do three, two, five, right? So we're at 1190 and then let's set this to 
um, 151. So there's that extra 20 people and the chart automatically updates when you add the new data in. So it's a nice little feature inside LibreOffice Calc to create these pie charts. So you can go and create other styles of charts, but today in this example, I just wanted to show you how to create a nice simple pie chart. So if you're going out there doing opinion polls, or maybe you're building some software, or maybe you want to get some feedback on a project that you're planning on building. So you can go and ask a certain amount of people and you can find out what their thoughts are and then you can have your your, 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 the questions down here and then the amount of answers that we're given for example you know is it a good solution is it a bad solution would you pay for it or would you not pay for it and so forth you can put your data in here you can see a chart and maybe you can email it to someone right let's go ahead and save this document let's close this that's how you go about creating pie charts in LibreOffice Calc and I'm using version 7 of LibreOffice so make sure you download the latest version I've recently done a tutorial on LibreOffice 7 Calc, so it's a more in-depth tutorial explaining how to use spreadsheets in a bit more detail. Um, so I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description, and I'll also put a link showing you how to download LibreOffice onto your computer. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful, and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP Web tutorial.